Chapter 228 Alex quickly slipped out of the house while the quarrel was still going strong inside the house. It would be best for him to stay out of the annoying domestic disputes. Alex went into a small cafe, ordered some snacks, and decided to spend his leisure time there until the evening. It was a famous street in Oris Hill with people bustling around. Alex was enjoying his meal when he suddenly spotted two figures on the opposite side of the street, one of them looking extraordinarily familiar. That was Emma, wasn't it? Across the street was a very lavish restaurant. Alex saw Emma sitting by the huge window on the third floor, and opposite her was a middle-aged man in a suit and leather shoes wearing gold-framed glasses. Emma was holding a folder and talking to the man non-stop as if she was showing her portfolio and her new role as a freelance designer and hoped that the man would invest in her new establishment. Despite her enthusiasm, the man didn't seem to pay any attention to her speech. He even attempted to touch Emma's hand by taking the folder from her which she quickly pulled away before he succeeded. Alex's blood was boiling upon witnessing this ridiculous scene. That bastard, how dare he try to sexually assault his wife. Just then, the waiter came over with a plate of chips. Before he could put it down, Alex slammed a $50 note on the table and got to his feet hastily. Keep the change. On the third floor lounge. Suppressing the disgust surging inside her, Emma plastered on a polite smile and said to the man across the table, Mr. Diesel, I've compiled all of my company's future plans and prospects in this folder that will promise a positive development in the future. If you are willing to work with me, I promise you, I'll give you the best project planning. Miss Richard, I know your abilities, and I believe in you. Then, the man showed a stiff smile. However, we have invested a lot of money into various projects recently, and our capital is quite restricted for the moment. Emma was a little disappointed. She had spent the whole morning presenting her portfolio to him, but he had been giving ambiguous and vague answers that confused her. Looking at Emma's disappointed expression, the man rubbed his hands deliberately and said, Actually, it's not a dead end yet. Let me talk to the senior executives first. Frankly speaking, your portfolio looks very interesting. How about we continue the discussion at 9 tonight? I would love to know more about your work. Um, Mr. Diesel, that's quite late. Emma hesitated. It was quite late for them to meet at 9 p.m. Besides, if they went on with the discussion, they might end up talking until midnight. It wouldn't be nice for her reputation as someone's wife. The man smiled. No, it's not. Investment is a big deal. We need to have a deep understanding of each other before we can build mutual trust, am I right? I'll treat you to a nice dinner tonight and we'll continue with the discussion. Come, Miss Richard. Let's shake hands for our future collaboration. The man extended his arm toward Emma's tiny little hand, a faint flirtatious vibe hovering in his eyes. The man's name was Jake Diesel. He had long heard about Emma Richard, the woman who had won the title of Oris Hill's most beautiful lady, but he hadn't had any luck meeting her in the past. Yet now, Emma had contacted her personally, saying that she had broken her ties from the Richard family and wanted to persuade him to invest in her new studio. He was over the moon. He planned to sweep Emma off her feet and enjoy the night together.